Heather, this is uh, any derivatives examples, and uh, well, let's just run through a few examples of this to really solidify it. Um, you're going to need to know a lot about this in the integrals section. So anyway, um, we find uh, find f if f double prime equals 12x squared plus 6x minus 3, and you have two conditions over here. So we're going to use those to help find out what those constants are. We have two conditions, so we should be able to figure it out. Anyway. Um, let's just start off. We'll back it off from f double prime to f prime, which will equal all we're doing is we're going to increase the exponent by one. So it'll be x. It's it's now x to second power, but we're going to make it to x to the third. But then we got to divide twelve by this third, so it's going to be four. Okay. So, okay, let's, let's do the next one, okay? You have 6x to the first power. You're going to add 1 to that power, so it's going to be x squared, right? You're going to divide 6, the existing coefficient, by the new exponent value. So it'll be 3 minus 3x, because you're dividing by just 1. That doesn't change anything. Now, you add c on here, because that's our constant. Okay, well, do we solve for it right now? Do we try and solve for that C? We can do, but I'm just going to not. I'm going to continue on, go on to what F is now, okay? Let's do it one more time. 4x uh, to the f cubed, we're going to change that to fourth power. Divide 4 by the new exponent, which is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we don't even need to worry about that. Plus... It'll be x3. Oh, notice how everything's kind of canceling out here. Hmm. Well, I picked it that way, sorry. Um, x squared, we divide by 2. 3 over 2. Plus, now, c. Notice we still have to do the x to this, so x plus d. Okay? So now we have essentially what we're solving for. Let's plug in some of these conditions up here to get it. So f of 0 is going to equal 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus d equals 4. Hey, look at that. d equals 4. Congratulations. Okay, well, let's do it this way f of 1 equals 1. Well, f of 1 equals 1. We can do that again, right? You'll have 1 plus 1 minus 3 over 2 times 1 plus c times 1 plus 4, because we just got that, equals 1. Okay, good. So now we can solve for c. And when we do that, we're actually going to get c will equal to negative 3.5, okay? So now our whole function is just going to equal x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 3 over 2x squared minus 3.5x plus 4. Excellent. All right. So anyway, let's um let's do another example, right? So f if f prime equals let's say 12 of uh 1 plus x squared to the negative 1. How about that? Yeah. Plus, uh, well, let's add something else. 2x plus ex. And I'll only give you 1. How about f of, no, f of 0 equals 2? There you go. Well, what did I say about uh, the constants? We're only going to have to do this one once, so we can just you know, solve for it. And pull the constant out, right? So you're just going to have your 12. And then you just do this one, which that's 1 over... That'll be 1 over 1 plus x squared, right? Plus 
e to the 2x plus e to the x. Don't, don't mix them up. So now, um, you're going to solve for your f, and that will be 12 times, no, I suggest you go back to your trig functions. This is actually going to be your tan negative 1 trig function, correct? Yeah, you might need to go back. I always recommend just writing that stuff down and, and keeping it on you so when you're doing calculus you just have it to refer to. But you kind of recognize the forms after a while. So, um, And I'm just doing the derivatives, or the antiderivatives of these. And, uh, oh, wait, I forgot something, plus c. Ignore this bracket, ignore this parentheses, we've got to put a plus c in there. So now, plug it in. That's all you do, you just plug it on in. So, f of 0 equals 12 times tan negative 1 of 0 minus 1 half e to the 2 times 0 plus e to the 0 plus c, right? Well, that equals 2 just from the condition up here. So, what do we solve for? You'll find that uh, the e to the 2, 0 and the e to the 0, those are going to both be 1, and then actually tan negative 1 of 0 is just 0. So, what we get here is c is equal to 0. See, that just cancels it all out. So, our function f of x will just equal 12 tan negative 1 of x plus one half e to the two x plus e to the x. Now what I've seen people do is I've seen them get to this point where they just solve for c and they just leave it like that. Like like I'm supposed to figure it out. So don't uh, don't forget what you're doing. You were solving for f of x. You gotta show me that. You don't just say, oh, the constant equals this. So, you know, we have all the answers. Or we have all the solutions. No, no, no. You have to show me the answer. Okay? Um, let's see. I'm gonna say that we should probably just do something really simple. But I just wanna drive the concept of the adding the constants in, okay? So basically I want you to find find f if f triple prime is equal to e to the x, okay? And the concept behind this is that f triple prime will equal e to the x, but then you know that f double prime will equal e to the x plus c. And if you continue on, f prime will equal e to the x plus c x plus d. And finally, we're going to finish off with f equaling e to the x plus c, well, no, it would be one half c to the x squared plus d to the x plus e. And this, I just wanted to show you that um, the constants can make a problem really complicated and you still have to keep track of them no matter how complicated it gets. So, um, and just remember that they call these anti-derivatives but they're really more commonly known as integrals and it's actually one of the harder topics for many people, especially people that find derivatives easy, they have a harder time with integrals. So. Um, I suggest you just take a step back and realize that uh, the derivatives and integrals are directly related and uh, just keep practicing and you have a good day. Make sure you leave a comment uh, on my channel if you'd like me to leave more examples of antiderivatives or integrals. So anyway, you have a good day.